Oh, hey, Emily Presco live. Maybe I should talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, friends, if you can hear us, we're just waiting to make sure we're live. I have freckles here on my lap. Um, she wanted to steal Emily's chair, so I called her up. But I'll get, I will get rid of her. Okay, I have an ad. Okay, yay! <laughs> hey, friends. I can't really, I got cat. Happy Wednesday, friends day. I always want to lean in to see you, wave hi to you. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're having a good day. So today is what's on my easel. I can see myself waving on my computer. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I haven't been over here on my larger easel in a while. I've got, I'm thinking Curly Sue is a working title for this buffalo. It's on a 16 by 20 inch cradled wood panel that Emily got me for Christmas or birthday, Em? I don't know. I gave one of the, all the, I think Christmas. I gave all the art gifts on Christmas. Yes. Or and, birthday, birthday. I and I didn't birthday. introduce her. That's favorite daughter, Emily, talking. <laughs> Hello. So it's an inch, <laughs> freckles is not helping. It's an inch and a half thick. That's what a cradled wood panel looks like. I'm assuming you can see a little bit yep. of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there's a traceable for uh, Buffalo Bill, which is also profile, slightly taller, skinnier um, Buffalo painting, if you want to check that out on AnnieTro.com. And I think, oh, here, I'll show you my reference photo, which I have linked in the video description. It's a little different doing it this way. We don't have to fly over to my art table. <laughs> Um, that's probably going to look weird on video. Well, there's a little reflection, but you can tell. But it's on Unsplash. We've got a window behind mm -hmm. the camera now. So the link's in the video description. I think that's all we have to say. I'm going to have Emily scoot in to about... Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, hey, Freckles. Well, I guess I don't want you to get down. What do you want? I'm going to have you scoot in and so Freckles doesn't get down, and then I'll show the palettes and stuff. Okay. So just kind of this area. Okay. Right here. Let's see here. here so I actually, hope you guys are... move your cord. Okay, I'll hold my cord. So. I hope you guys are doing well. It's like, I don't know, three degrees here in Omaha. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you get the whole thing, that's fine. But kind of, I don't know. I'll probably pop down to the eye. You don't have to be too close. Okay. And then people can let us know if they want us to be closer or further back. Because I have Emily here to help with those kinds of things. <laughs> I'm going to push my chair. Freckles has settled in. I might be painting with a cat on my lap. I know. And that would probably be like a first, really. Well, I'll pick her up and show her maybe, and that'll make her mad. <laughs> yeah, that will. I was telling Emily that she was being so good, I cut out several mats. I was thinking I was going to have to shave her this spring. She just isn't cleaning herself as well. Well, She's be, getting old. That might be pretty good. Can okay. we, um... I'm going to bend it just a little more after you even said that. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, just because it's hanging down and it gets bumped? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the background the background color is kind of a combination of burnt umber. Um, I'll show you the paint tubes here in a minute. Since Emily sits down, I'll get rid of freckles. Um, <laughs> it was an old, I scraped off paint from an old palette just to reuse it or just to use it and not throw it away. I keep my palettes in a Ziploc bag. I use styrofoam plates because a lot of times I'll have a couple of palettes going and I can just stack them. I, I should mark them because sometimes I have to open them up to see. Oh, that's not my background palette. That's actually going to be my buffalo palette. I forgot to put it away last night, so I had to put out new paint. Let's get the background palette out here. Rickle is watching. She is why? No, it's too bad. We need a cat camp. Just make it. It kind of reminds me when I had little kids sing on my lap and I was trying to do graphic <laughs> design work on the computer. She's doing the same thing. She's like, wait a minute, we do lives the other way. Yeah. She, well, she can never sit on your lap the other way. So that looks like a hot mess, but it had actually a little red oxide on it, uh, burnt umber, na maple's yellow, raw sienna. Um, I didn't use a titanium white, and I just got paint on there. And um, there'll be a full video, so you can see more of that process if that interests you. Today, I'm trying to paint as fast as I can for a gallery show opening Oh, March 1st mm -hmm. at the Artist Cooperative Gallery in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. So, and I sold this, the first Buffalo Bill painting fast. So I thought, well, gosh, that'd be a good one to do again. Okay, Freckles, time to go bye-bye. Do you want, wait a minute, do you want to see here? I don't know if, oh yeah, look how unhappy she is. <laughs> <laughs> Her bed is like right, right between Hi. us. Hi, friend. Okay, so the colors I've got on my current palette is Prism Violet. That looks almost black. Uh, burnt umber, which is the other really dark color. I'm just throwing, I have an art cart next to me which has wheels and it has like three shells, in case you're wondering what that noise is. Naples yellow. 
Um, I'm just using it up. I think I, I bought some yellow oxide the other day, didn't I, Em? Yes. Because it's a little darker. And then you could probably add white to yellow oxide and get a really close color. And then <laughs> I always have it that way so it comes out titanium white. And then I've just been, oh, I've been using a quarter inch filbert. Now Freckles is bugging, bugging Emily. <laughs> I used, oh, it's starting to split, a little liner brush for the eye. What is it? It's a Royal Lang Nickel. I've got my, I don't have my party glasses on, so I can tilt, don't have to tilt my head so much. <laughs> but I can't read the number on it. It's got paint on it, and I've scraped it off. Emily's going to try. I think this is just a quarter-inch filbert. And then this one I've been using quite a bit is a number 12 Royal Lang Nickel Mental Line. This one's real. I really like this one. It's really nice. Yeah, the numbers are scratching off, but it's um, uh, one, maybe. I, I kind of thought it might. It be looks one. like a one, but half your one is scratched off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like. I have a couple of those with like the chrome handle, and they're pretty. I like those. Yeah, those are nice. They're not very expensive. So I'm just gonna mix. Um, I'm gonna mix. I had I had all these puddles and it was great because I kind of like to um, have a few puddles pre-mixed, and then I mix with from those puddles too. I don't know if that makes any sense. So we have Suzanne and Bonita in the chat. Hey, ladies! <laughs> happy Happy Groundhog's Day. Yeah, Suzanne says hi, Annie and Emily and Freckles. Happy Friends Day. And it is rainy in Kentucky. For Bonita. Oh, we need some moisture. And Suzanne's getting 15 to 30 centimeters of snow. Oh. oh, we also have Walking with Tamsin in the chat, too. Oh, hi. They have a cute channel. I think I mentioned that mm -hmm. last time. Mm -hmm. I feel like I get to travel. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're in Scotland? Ooh, yeah, that is some travel. I think uh, they can uh, put it in the comments in case I get it wrong. I, I start to mix up people sometimes. I apologize. I'm just cleaning off my palette knife. Well, and cute kids and a dog. So I'm going to mix a little of this prism violet. I wasn't planning on doing this mixing, but that happened because I didn't put my palette away last night. And so I was hoping it would make a black, but it's really not any different in value. But what it does do is give me, um, so instead of just having brown areas, and purple areas, I have brownish purple areas. It gives me a little transition color. Were you going to say something else, M, M before I? Oh, uh, just that uh, we're, you were working on another buffalo. Because we've done a buffalo on a live before, but this is a different buffalo. Yeah, this is a different buffalo. Um, buffalo Bill has a neat kind of bluish nose and a traceable. And the mm -hmm. traceable is quite complicated, but don't put in all the curls and just paint. Like there's kind of a triangle section on this buffalo. You can't really see it right now. You know, just paint the, tri the triangle section and maybe a little detail. Just, I know it sounds easy. Just simplify it. Yeah, just, 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 just do, do that. that. <laughs> but yeah, but it's, it's something you could try. And then paint it smaller because you'll be forced not to paint all the detail that I painted. I do. Uh, as I mean, that um, traceable does probably look quite. I'm sure it looks scary. Yeah. But um, I do like that. It it does show you hair direction if you do want to attempt it, and it's that spooks you a little bit to try and get there. I feel like um. It, when I every time I've when I draw something I have I try to I have to remind myself to stop thinking about like okay this is hair that I'm doing and just try and draw what I can see paint the shape yeah paint the shape paint the shape yeah it is hard it is hard well on the chalk wall I've got a flamingo oh that I was gonna say that for a commercial but the video is coming up this Sunday February 6th um, and I went back to sort of my cartoony B because it's more I don't know more what's in my head than what I would see, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with it, it's cute. But um, I just put out a little more violet paint, or prism violet. Yeah, I keep thinking about doing videos about, I've got a couple drawing videos, but they don't do that well. <laughs> and it's hard to know if there isn't the interest or it's, they just aren't being seen. You know, a couple gritting, I drew a paint tube. I, I drew and painted a pair, which I think is a really oh, yeah. good one. I like that one. It talks about a lot of things you need to do. It's if, if you do the pair well, you can really, in, in that, theory, do anything well. I think that one you have you do the light direction too in it, don't you? Yep, yep, and okay. a little reflective light. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Freckles says, yeah. So this is violet uh, Naples yellow. It's kind of a pretty plummy. Okay, I think I have enough working puddles for the way I like to paint. I mean, you, there isn't a right or wrong. Some artists always put out, especially like with oil paints because they don't dry out. You know, you just put out your colors and you use the same palette all the time and you mix from there. Okay, I think I more than set the table today. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to clean off my palette knife. I'm trying to get, and get going. Get the fun. Hello. Yeah, she's like probably so, she's probably meowing right into the mic. Come on, sit in your chair. She probably doesn't like it that we change. I know. She, we do not like change. Okay, I'm going to work just to kind of warm up too. The horn's going to be an easier area. Oh, hopefully my head's probably going to get in there. I'm going to make my reference photo bigger. So what's going to be interesting is I don't really have gray and I've been fighting with myself to want to put black in there because I think it's going to look blacker. Um, I can't tell if you can see the nose, but like in parts of the eye, I just, I'm trying not to use black because I can always come back with it. So it's like, okay, so then how am I going to do the horn? Do I want it warmer color or cooler? I think we'll start here with some Naples yellow and white and maybe just a little bit of <laughs> We'll dirty it up. So I was trying an experiment with alcohol and acrylic paints because alcohol will clean out your brushes. I was wondering if I could spray it and get it to make splattering looking um, marks, patterns, you know, like on a background. I, there's a guy who does acetone on acrylic and charcoal and then he seals it and then he paints some more on it. And, I was trying to figure out if I could do that. And I was wondering if how bad that would be for it. For the paint, because it does, it is a cleaner, you know? Like, is that a dumb idea? I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. And then, like, what, what's in acrylic pouring medium that makes all those bubbles rise? I, they thin it with something. Yeah. So um, anybody, I mean, nobody might not know today, but I'm just putting it out there for anybody who's watching at any time. Leave me a comment and let me know. Go ahead, hun. I just, I think it's the fact that it's, um, it's something. It's just more liquidy. So then you get the bubbles in there. And then the bubbles, um, as it dries, they come to the top. You know? Well, well is it just water then that's separating? I don't, I, yeah. It makes I don't, it bubble. I don't know what, I'll actually Google what is in like pouring medium or when they pour acrylic. I was going to talk about that last time, but I really got into the Facebook group last time. I know. Oh, my God. oh I'm typing on my keyboard to get to your computer. <laughs> That's like something I would do. So shapes and values, especially this first time through. Um, oh, here, maybe you want to see the eye a little closer. Um, I'm just going to kind of guess on the aiming there. I don't really have a highlight highlight in it. I go, I'm just kind of have the first round of values. I hope that got in there. I can do that again when Emily doesn't have the computer screen open. I kind of timed that poorly. Um, let's see here. Acrylic inks and soft bodies, high flow or fluid acrylic paints are perfect for consistency for acrylic pour paints. Right. So honestly, probably just like craft paint. Like craft paint would be a good consistency because it's a lot thinner. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I could. So he sprays acetone. He gets these cool. Oh. Hey. And, and I'm like, doesn't that break down the acrylic and then wouldn't, mm -hmm. couldn't the paint like fall apart? <laughs> or the painting? Probably. I don't know. She's she's scratching at me. Oh, mm. yes. Okay, so um, there's I found another recipe that's um, one part acrylic paint, one and a half parts um, painting medium, and then one part distilled water. So it is water that is um, making it thinner. Is that what makes it bubble? And Probably, yeah. Well, I know people apply the, the, the thing the that you're not supposed to do. Yeah, is you... Basically, use a blowtorch or like a one of those little hand torches to it, and then in, um, but that releases a lot of toxic stuff. So you, technically, people aren't supposed to do that. I guess if you do it in a well ventilated right. area and you're like you're wearing a mask for it and whatever, you could. But so I'm gonna bring this horn up and over the top. But I think for now, for today, I don't I don't want to stand and show you a chunk of my back. <laughs> I'm just gonna. But I thought it might be kind of neat, and then this one stops. Here, I'll put a little mark so I could, that can help me. It stops right here. Well, somebody, I'm just putting it out. I might put it out there again. I'm going to figure that out. 
I mean, he's selling his paintings. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, maybe it doesn't fall apart for two years or mm -hmm. ten years, or maybe it doesn't fall apart at all. I just have no idea. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the because you know acrylic pouring could be the next Jackson Pollock, but in my mind, acrylic pouring is kind of like. It, it it came up so fast, I feel like it's probably more of, like, a fad painting style. I know. Yeah, I would you know? struggle with how to word that, too. Um, where, I don't know. I think it's really cool and be super fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, it's uh, on my bucket list. Well, and that's where it's, like, it verges on, like, you know, I mean, all, like, somebody probably, when Jackson Pollock was a painter, or somebody probably just said, well, you're yeah. just throwing paint at a wall. <laughs> but Yeah, so, Emily. <laughs> so it could, obviously become something that they would want to preserve forever. But I, at least like all of the people that I know that do it, they're just trying to, you know, have some fun and put some big art on their wall. But they're not like some ama like amazing painter that could paint something insane. And it's it's kind of just like um, something that anybody can do, you know. So if you want to paint, you can, anybody can do that. Yeah, they sold, um, a couple of poor painters sold at the gallery that I was in in Nebraska City. Well, and I, I remember we've gone to... But they um, had to sell them for less to get them to move. Uh, there was, I mean, this, this is years ago, because when was the last time we went to, like, that um, art fair in, um, over in Rockbrook? Yeah. Um, there was a guy that would do the acrylic pores, but he would do the blowtorch on it, too, kind of right. thing. and then he sealed it with something super mm -hmm. shiny. Yeah, it was super high shine. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. It was cool. Actually, I had a happy accident there. I should probably leave it. I just had a nice little paint <laughs> skip. I'm trying to, I'm I'm wrestling a little bit. So this is my purple and brown color, but it's looking a little more purple to me. But it's also because of the relationship. I'm struggling with my palette a little bit, but I think that's okay. Because um, really it's the values. Values do the work. I don't know who said this. And they probably said it differently. And color gets the credit. But the values are really what lets you know where edges are, what things are. I don't know. I keep kind of flopping between the brown. I just stick with the purple because I want it warmer here. So what I actually what I should be thinking in my head is I do want it warmer here to follow my reference photo and cooler here. So probably, probably should stick at least with my middle puddle. Just weird thoughts that artists think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how weird that is, but and also I'm like I did yellow thinking that would be great, but it's not so great as a traceable. Oh, and then I was thinking I wouldn't do a traceable. I'm like I gotta get this done. You know, and it really cuts down gritting photo, gritting canvas, drawing it on, adjusting, you know, because I adjust as I paint too. So sometimes I'm looking for a spot where there isn't any chalk for me to anchor my finger. It's part of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. If that's over explaining, just let me know. So um, back to the chat. Oh, yeah. You were right. You're not letting um, anybody talk. Walking, yeah, I know. I was Googling. Um, Walking with Tamsin is from Scotland, so you were oh, right about... Um, and then we have uh, Lise in Quebec, Canada. We have Ooh. Patsy in Ohio. Oh. Uh, we have Nancy in Paw, Paw West Virginia, a little town in West Virginia. Oh, that sounds like it's probably a cute place. Yeah. Place. <laughs> and then... Oh, Tammy's here. Tammy Hooker is here as yes, well. Yes, the instigator. Are we going to call her the instigator? <laughs> yeah, she's the Facebook. She group. might not like that. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that was quick turnaround because all of a sudden we were like, I don't know. And then, like, well, what, I that night? I processed, processed it on the last live. I did it right after the live. Yeah, I, I think started. I, by the time I got home, I was like, oh, I'll start looking into that. And you're like, I'm already on it. <laughs> Well, I knew because I'm worried about my show in March. I knew that if I just didn't do it, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So I just bit the bullet. Yeah, Tammy had to let, let me know. Tammy Hooker, right? Mm -hmm. If she likes Instigator, we don't should not yeah. do that again. <laughs> and then also, if um, people would like a more close-up version, I can scooch the camera closer. Right. You are working on a larger part, so I think we're okay for now. But if it ever does, like... It's too far away. I can always scooch it closer. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Emily just looked. My, I'm leaning to the left, so my head, and I'm, le actually, I'm using the arm. Of the oh. I didn't want Good. this chair, and I'm using the chair with the arm. <laughs> um, I'm leaning, like, my head is right next to my phone. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I can come more my way a little bit. I got to stop talking so I can paint. Yeah, sorry. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Not your fault at all. I, I'm excited to see everybody. It's no instant quiet. I know, instant quiet. Freckle finally settled. She stopped scratching at me. Or, oh, oh but now that I say her name, oh no, she's going to go somewhere else. She might go in the linen closet, hopefully. So when Emily's talking and I'm talking, so what I do a lot, you can't see it, but my head is like bouncing back and forth all that between my reference photo and what I'm painting, just to kind of help me keep on track. Um, but you, you, I do that even, I don't know why I said it because she's talking. I would do that anyway. And you don't have to follow it closely, but sometimes it can give you like good little ideas. Like I decided I'm going to put in this light line and then I'm probably going to paint some of it out. What I need to do here pretty soon, this photo has just sort of general, it's probably like a cloudy, snowy day. And I think, oh, here, I'm going to show you the eye. So I think that the reflection in the eye is a road. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It totally is. Yeah, and so then I think this is a road. But I just, I like that the photographer put some purple in there. That's where I didn't come up with purple you know, as ultra creativeness. I like, oh, the photographer did that. I could like, I kind of like that. Yeah, it was a purpley brown. Yeah. There's some blues in there too. I might add a blue. So, hang on, I'm sorry if my head's in the way. No. So this eye, I just kind of faked it so far. Hopefully you can see that. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm trying to look at... Well, I, now I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can't think, Sam. Yeah. Okay. Is that close enough for everybody to see? It's just round one, but look, I mean, that's just yeah. kind of, that's just a shape, and it reminds me of a shadow, and I've got little hints of eyelashes I might paint out, but I basically, you know, it if I want more realism, then I come back and refine it, and then I even come back and refine it again. Or sometimes I refine it and refine it, and I go, oh, we need some more bigger brush strokes. Let's like make this look artier, you know. I'll go back and forth between values, color, detail, no detail. I mean, that can be a lot. Which is why I suggest starting with like a pair. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, if you think about all those things, it's just a pair. And plus, pairs are just wonky shapes. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with them. Lecture, soapbox. soapbox. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Tammy or uh, Bonita asked for an update on Tammy's husband in the chat. Oh, yeah. Um, she says that she got to bring him home from the hospital yesterday. And, um, but he is very weak and on auction, but at home, um, now she has COVID, so she has to isolate for seven more days, but she says that her husband does call her an instigator all the time. Oh, so I don't know where it came from. It just came <laughs> right out of my mouth and right in the live. And I'm like, oh my God, that probably wasn't that cool. So happy you got to bring him home though. Yes, That's so yes, nice. Yes. Yes. Thank you for track, putting me back on track, honey. Yes. I know I gave you a lot there. <laughs> yes. That's so scary. Life should be so much nicer and easier to everybody. I, I'm serious about that. That's, well, that's why we're doing, that's why I'm doing. Art helps me feel better. I'm gonna get sentimental and philosophical here if I don't just keep painting. <laughs> you don't have to go this slow. I'm just kind of not really warmed up yet. Oh, and I appreciate people putting um, in the Facebook group. There's a link in this video's chat down towards the bottom. Oh, I'll put it in. I'll just put it in the chat, too, as well. They've been starting to put in who they watch, and I go check them out if I don't know them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's helpful. I'm going to learn stuff from... I mean, you learn stuff from absolutely everybody. I need to stop being so timid here. Let's put a move on, Annie. So I've got a hair here I don't want to forget about that comes over. I don't know if I will. I'm debating. I'm gonna grab some Naples. I don't know if you can see my palette. So Naples yellow. I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna go over the hair. There we go. Let's just talk about it instead of sort of being scared to talk. Let's start talking about a horn. I would turn it if we weren't videoing. Um, I learned that mm -hmm. recently on somebody's live. They thought maybe they, as an artist, you shouldn't turn it like it was bad or something. I'm like, no, no, no. We're just trying to accommodate you guys. 
on my art table I'll spin it around more and make you guys seasick. <laughs> yeah, you do. But at least it's, I don't know if that's any different. I guess you probably always see the same thing in a way, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas we'll lose parts if you turn this. Right. I don't know if I need to do too much more, really. I just kind of need some color in there. Oh, I need some white, maybe. So, like, my brush is dirty. I just grabbed a little white. Oh, that's whiter than I thought it was going to be. I really do need to decide light direction and what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I could, I was thinking, like, I could put a streak of, like, sunlight. I don't know if they can see that, but coming kind of oh, mm -hmm. from the top right down. And then the eye would be really dark. Yeah. I don't know. I could try it. And that would be on the other side for you. Usually you... I know, but it's like, this is the... So I put this eye pretty much on one third mm -hmm. vertically, and then the nose, tip of the nose, almost hits a third. Mm -hmm. So I cropped it that way on purpose. And then I want some of the hairs you can't see down below. Some of the chin hairs are going to go off the canvas, and this one horn's going to be a little longer than real life, and it's going to go off the canvas. But actually, that's kind of nice. If you can stop painting little strokes... And then sometimes if you want to get the roundness, change directions. But look, that, that brush stroke where I just stopped talking is actually nicer than when I'm trying harder. <laughs> <laughs> and some of that just happens with practice. Sometimes it just happens because you let go and you just kind of warm up. Sort of like swinging a golf club before you go on the course kind of thing. I got to quit doing golf analogies. I can do basketball, but I figure maybe more people go. <laughs> Softball. Um, I but stop. go ahead. Oh, sorry. No. Um, so uh, Tammy, since she does have COVID, she has to isolate. But she says that she's isolating um, upstairs where her craft room is, so she'll be painting a lot. Ooh. So at least hopefully you Smart. feel well enough to paint. I feel like that's the. Yeah. Some people are no biggie, and some people are. Yeah. And then um, since we did mention the um, the the new Facebook group, the friends group or whatever. Um, what I think is funny is they think I had, we, after you had said like, oh, I'm already on it, I called you pretty much right away. And and then all of a sudden after a group is named, made, and we've already like added people, she's like, wait, how do we, how is this any different than um, like, you know, because you, you always open with like, hey friends or, you know. And so I think that everybody in the group chat, or in that chat, not a group chat, if you're in the, if, if, or not a chat at all, it's a group. Facebook group. The Facebook group. They should be called the besties because they're like the best friends, you know, they get, <laughs> since they, they're in on the in know or I, like you posted the little. Um, well, they got a sneak peek. Yeah, they got a sneak peek, which we really don't do much of. Well, I don't plan on posting my art a ton in it. I want it to be no. for other people. Well, and then Unless it's... Unless they get one or, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Go ahead, honey. Um, well, it just feels more like a bestie level because you get to see, like, more of people's stuff and... Yeah, it's just... So it's like, they're the best friends. That's what they are. <laughs> so I only know one person in person. When I invited... I must have invited uh, one of the artists down at the Cooperative Gallery. Oh, you did? <laughs> well, I must have. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I've not met anybody else in person besides you. <laughs> yeah besides yes that's yeah. so yeah so they're all within the last couple of years you know awesome people that i've met through. is that is that weird for like to think because i mean that's not so much my generation's kind of used to that but is that weird to go there like you have like people that you know but have never met in person and it's just online and or is that not so weird anymore a little of both because I've been online for quite a while and I was doing the art licensing thing True. first. Mm -hmm. So I was in art licensing groups. I still am in art licensing groups. Um, I can't get off this horn even though I keep telling myself to move on. I like it though. Um, it is still a little weird. Well, like I get excited about where people are. Mm -hmm. But your generation is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's more normal. Like I, I have friends online what? that I've never met or known in person and they live you know all over so it's it's a little more normal for like um chases in my generation than i think it is for um yours you know because like w w like if we're if we're gonna go way if we're gonna go way back you know like w w you would have met that person i guess how and then you would have maybe yeah traveling or, and then you I keep, don't do that but. or your friend lived 
in like went to school with you and then moved away and you keep in touch yeah. like just by phone and letters if you right. want to go letters, that way letters and well phone you know if i was a young person is it okay if i make a long distance phone call well don't talk too long it's gonna cost <laughs> oh yeah you would you would tell me all the time that um i called graham as long yeah, distance phone call yes you well you you told me that you would call graham and then graham would hang up on you and call you back so she had to pay for it yeah i, I yeah i think there's <laughs> i don't know if i paid a little fee or like it, you needed it to hit 30 seconds or something mm-hmm. somebody in the the chat might know but well, I, I think there was a commercial that was running. You're young, honey. I am. I think there was a commercial that was running. It was like a Super Bowl commercial a couple years ago or something. And it was um, and it was a, a family, like, or it, it, this guy's on, on a pay phone. And um, he calls home. And you can tell he's in a hospital. And um, I guess it's it's to this thing of, would you like to accept a collect call from... And then in the name, where you're supposed to say the name, the guy quickly says, like, um, the baby was born, everything's healthy, or everything's fine, everything's healthy, it's a boy. And then hangs up the phone. (laughs) So the family knows, but they don't have to pay. They don't have to pay much. Yeah. (laughs) I think that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't pay much. Oh, and Graham and I, I mean, I called Gramps once in a while, but Graham and I would talk for a long time, especially when Jack was, you weren't born yet, and Jack was little, Mm -hmm. you know, first grandchild. Oh, my stomach just growled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's, a, it's so that makes it a bigger deal to have people from all over when you're old. <laughs> oh, Tammy, Tammy says, Bob had a baby, it's a boy. <laughs> Anyone remember that commercial? Yes, that's what it was. Bob had a baby, it's a boy. <laughs> you know, I do like sitting here because it's been a while since I've been able to give Emily crap for uh, crocheting. Oh, yeah. I said the right word, Em. Because um, I can see her out of my peripheral vision. And I'm painting the dark, I'm going to call it a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's one thing, too, is sitting here, I'm not looking down. My nose doesn't. Can you see the dark hole? I'm painting this. I'm working on ba- the basic shape, but it's not exact. You know, you just kind of want to get it feeling like fur. And I think it's easier to paint. Not always I want. It's what's so hard about art is sometimes you'll figure other things and do it your own way and... I think it is quite often easier to work dark to light, especially with fur, because I paint the dark shapes, and then I just keep building it up, and then I just play with it till I'm, I like it, kind of thing. Which I know that's not helpful, but that is how I—that is the process of how I do it. And then sometimes I'll like go, oh, I think I've already made the eye bigger than it is, um, but I do that a lot because I'm like, I want that bigger, because <laughs> I feel like that's what draws you in. So a lot of times I. I have a little bit bigger eye than I should on on my... Uh, I, this is an animal... Por- this is a pet portrait. Basically, yeah. A large pet. Um, Chase has made his appearance oh, in Chase the chat. Oh, Chase, man. And he, he dropped 10... Or 9.99, not 10.99. 9.99. I feel like I need to kind of yell at him. I mean, he, it's, it's his <laughs> money. He's a very generous person. I really appreciate the support. I just... Love him to bits. At the same time, I kind of want to mom him, but I'm not his mom. <laughs> Ch- you know, Chase, I'm not going to say his whole name. Um, you know, mm-hmm. but of course. I mean, thank you. Thank you for supporting our little channel who's starting to grow a little bit. I appreciate that. Yeah, what did you say last week? It's um, Yeah, we're growing up a little bit. We're growing up, or yeah, like, in, <laughs> like we had a birthday. Oh, and Tammy says, be sure to hit that like button, folks. Oh, thank so. you. It takes a village. It's a literal village. It takes a village. It takes a village. Is that from the Bible? My, am I, so I am not a reader. I'm not, my reading comprehension isn't the greatest. And so I don't, I need help with those quotes and references. Here, we can have Google help us with those with where that came quotes from. and references. I wanted to know where chicken, winter, winter chicken dinner a couple months ago came from. I find it super helpful to get like this big shadowing because it becomes a reference. And then be, I really, it's more fun for me to put in the hair, but like I put one in there and sometimes I'll just put them in even though I'll paint them out because it's fun. I just, I love the stray hairs. Oh, that's what I called the, the big cow. I put a sneak peek. It posts, I'm doing some of my, my commercials. It posts this Friday, I think. Oh, I don't have it in my notes. Um, I think it posts this Friday, February 4th, 2022. I decided to call it stray hair. Not, I like that name, Stray Hair. Well, it's got a zillion of them. 
So the saying, it takes a village, it's technically, um, it takes a village to raise a child. Oh, right. It's the saying. Um, and the exact origin of the phrase is unknown. <laughs> but some believe it to be an ancient African proverb. Oh, and I went biblical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> African cultures, and some believe it to come from native Africans. Oh, well, that makes total sense, too. Well, thank you for looking. I was way off base. Mm -hmm. And then... I should have um, neck muscles as much as I go. <laughs> I mean, anytime I hesitate, my head's swiveling, just FYI. <laughs> I just picture you, like, flexing your neck, and it's just, like, it bulges with muscles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, animal, not weird. Animal art by Terracotta is in the chat as well. Oh, hey, Cheryl. How are you doing? Hey girl. <laughs> yeah, I recognize the username, so I figured I figured you would you would know who. Oh uh, yes, I can remember. I asked her a couple questions about YouTube. She gets a ton of comments, um, which is awesome. She has a fun art channel. She did a whole twelve Christmas card series, uh, watercolor, I believe. Hmm. Really, cute. really cute, really fun, really cute. Um, I like her style. I get a lot of art crushes. I'm trying to say if that's the right place for this little triangle shaped hole. I think it is. Oh no, it's not. It's too low. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Erase. Erase. Command Z. Um, it's more up here. It goes like that. She says, I started to answer verbally, but realized you couldn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, we're getting, it's getting better with the group and the lives. We're getting to know people more, which is super fun. I don't like that we have several Tammies. <laughs> I know we do have, we have. I mean, I love that we have the Tammies. Tammy is the new Emily, really, is what it is. Because exactly. I know a thousand Emilies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know any Emilies. I thought that was going to be a good one. I was so wrong. So wrong. I came up with Emily. Of course, your dad agreed. I think I, I, all through my elementary years, I we would get like the you know like the Scholastic Book Fair magazine or something. I don't know, and it would always have like cool facts or something like that. And I swear I was the top baby name from like nineteen ninety six to probably the early like t like two thousand five. I think easily I was. It was like top baby name girls Emily, just like. A million babies named Emily of that year. Yes, <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> I'm just saying that because it sounds, you know, a little snarky. I kind of want to put, I don't think I'll forget because I always like the horns. They're kind of fun. They have like funny marks in them. And I, but I don't want to put white on yet because oh. I'm saving the, I'm not going to turn on the lights until towards the end. Or once I finally decide where I'm going to, I do think I'm going to do that. Hmm. Try to um, have like a beam of light. Yeah, that'd be so. That'd be cool. I'd like that. I don't know if this will make any sense to any of it. Kind of like dramatic Disney lighting. You know, like Lion King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if you would like, whenever you are able to, it is time for a, oh, it's a, commercial a little time. commercial break. Okay, I just really haven't warmed up till I've been talking. I talk too much. I know people are there, so I'm a chatty Kathy. Or was I haven't. A, was I haven't made the what. Was a chatty Kathy a doll? I think so. Um, <laughs> I haven't made the, like, you know, the PBS viewers brought to you, or brought to you by your viewers like you, thank you joke in a while. No, I just I, feel very PBS-y when we... <laughs> I know. Well, I, you know, I appreciate it. Um, I liked Eric's ice cream break, but it's kind of messy to have it ready and then hold it up and I picture dripping cone. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like I have a bowl. A bowl? With a chair. Yeah. Um, so our next live, I've got stuff really tight here, but... I think we can do it. Oh, so one thing about acrylics, because this just happened. So I've signed in on the back, and I had it leaning against a slick surface, and it's already starting to stick to it. They like to, even if you've varnished it, you store your paintings together face to face, but put a t-shirt, paper towel. If it's tissue paper, tissue paper that isn't doesn't have a slick side, um, they will glue That's themselves. So cute. They will glue themselves together permanently. Okay. So I think we're gonna paint this little flower field. I kind of have a rainy day, but I think we might do a, a sunny day version. I did this at the gallery when I was working Friday. I love that. Isn't that sweet? And we could do it with Posca pens. I made it with little brush strokes, but you could mm -hmm. 
You could, and then of course, I was going to paint dirt, and then I went back to because I love it. Like this is polar bear fur. This is, um, <laughs> you know, this could be buffalo fur. I'm already starting to do it. I just love the zigzag. So I of course went back to it. Um, I have it in a couple of my flower paintings. So anyway, that's next Friday's live. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Thank you, honey. <laughs> next Wednesday's live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I want to mention this. Thing. No, zero, zero, zero pressure. This is on my Facebook business page. I'm auctioning it off. There's there's a bidder for 30. I started the bidding at 20. I, I'm going to, I think I draw the winner, for lack of a better word. If, if there's like, you know, $130 bids, I'll have random.org pick who gets it. And I can only ship to the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I just thought maybe it's a pout knife painting of a church. I don't think I've licensed this one. I've licensed the other church over there on the flag. Is that the old church or the new church? This is pretty old, like 2018, I think. I mean, that's yeah. not old. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have. I don't think I've licensed this I don't one. Think, I think you went straight to that guy. Anyway, and it's a nice, thick canvas. Um, you can set it on a shelf. Or I've got a, um, a canvas hanger on it. And it's Country Church Blessings is the title. So just in case you're interested, it's over on my Facebook business page. And then I'm going to thank people. Linda B., thank you, thank you, thank you for sending money <laughs> through PayPal. Um, I sent you an email with a couple of links to, like, I have free coloring pages and free gift tags. So we, I just gave you more work if you want to put that in the chat or someplace. Mm -hmm. um, I always forget about your gift tags. Yeah. And I have wine, wine bottle tags. Just as freebies is another little way to thank all you guys cause for all your support. Uh, Re-Loving Furniture sent money in through PayPal. Thank you. Um, I couldn't, they didn't have a valid email address, so which is totally fine, but I couldn't send them a personal thank you. So I hope you're watching Re-Loving Furniture. Super appreciate your support. It means the world to us. And I'm going to, I'm going to thank Hippie Crafter again because, so we now have an affiliate link either that you might be interested in if you're interested in buying hip, Hippie Crafter art products. If you're not, that's a puddle you want to jump over. But it's, I've got it called out with a disclaimer and everything, so you guys are aware. We'll make a little bit of money. We don't even know how much. But they sent me a box of soft pastels, and I have a video coming out Sunday, February 6th, with um, the flamingo. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. So thank you. Thank you, Hippie Crafter. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. It showed up really fast. I love their packaging. It's always know, so isn't that cute. Fun? That's their logo. You know, and they have info on the back and some of their other, other products, so... That was definitely a commercial. They are not sponsoring this video. I just wanted to, to say thank you. The video's coming out Sunday. I do not know how they get the vibrant colors. Their paints, I have their paints I now, and yeah. I have their pastels now. Yeah. And they have some vibrant color. Mm -hmm. So if you like that sort of thing. And then their paints are self-sealing, which I used it for one of the Trouble 2.0 that I painted for the outside of the gallery. Mm -hmm. So I had self-sealing paint and varnish in mm -hmm. to help protect it. So that was cool. All right, so thank you guys. Thank you for your, <clears throat> excuse me, your support. It just means the world to us. I just, I think our world is 100% better since we started doing the lives. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, I like least it. such a wise person. Oh my goodness, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I like it because it's, it's, um, it's more humanizing on both levels, you yes. know? Like I love watching, like people that I follow, I like watching their lives because then I'm like, oh, you're like a real person and this isn't just like, I mean, I don't know. Even though um, I think like, the YouTube kind of blew up the way it did is because you, you're skipping TV and it's more of like the a layer is peeled back and it feels more real. But even then, like what feels even realer is like, oh, that person's doing that thing right now, which I think I've said before. But um, I, I don't know. I just, it makes, you know, people come to your live and if they chat in the chat, then you get to like, you start remembering them and you get to know them and that just feels more real on your end and then it probably it probably feels more real I'm not on their end. Sitting alone in my art studio painting for mm -hmm. hours and hours. I have people hanging out with me which is just a treat. It's a treat. Um I don't mind a lot of time but I, there's a certain point where it's not good for you. It's lonely. <laughs> it's a little too much. I put the free um printables oh, page yeah. on anybody. your website in the chat. I just, a lot of times when someone sends me money, I send them a thank you and a link back. Mm -hmm. But I want to shout them out, too. I think I've used, like, your little gift tags every year for um, I Christmas. I use the Christmas ones, yeah. <laughs> Gramps does. Gramps uses the Christmas ones. So. I have some printed because I was handing them out during paint demos mm -hmm. around the holidays. So I have some that are printed out on 
Um, I could print them out here. I've got, I don't know what that paper is, but it's kind of thick. Yeah. I don't think it's 90 pound cardstock, but it's a little thicker than regular paper. Mm -hmm. And then I also had um, Office Depot print out some thicker ones that I was giving away for a little while. And then paint demo stopped. Like, oh, we have to go hide now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's been two years. I know. When I talk, I paint more timidly, I noticed. Just sort of a FYI. Well, and somebody left a fun comment on Facebook about Groundhog's Day. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. I saw it. It was, um, 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 um. I don't remember who it was, but it was funny because it was kind of like it's been Groundhog's Day for two years. Two years, years or yeah. Like yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah. It does feel like that. I feel like, I don't, I don't know if, because I, I think as you get older, time also passes faster because, you know, when... You're in. You're five years old. A year is one fifth of your life, so it feels a lot longer. You're still feeling it because you brought this up before. I know, but it feels <laughs> like it's going so fast. Like I still feel like it's 2020, and you know we're already in 2022. Oh it yeah, feels looking, insane. Looking back is always faster. Mm -hmm. When you were little and screaming and not sleeping through the night, it was pretty slow. Yeah, that was that slow. I bet that was slow. I <laughs> bet <laughs> time moved so slow then. So exhausted. Well, now people are going to be in the chat going, be nice to Emily. <laughs> no. No, it's just how it is. Little. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to someone with a new baby, so that's why I also came to mind. I was talking to her yesterday. I'm not making this any better. I think I'm going to stop. I just kind of want to get the horn in here so I don't... You know where it is? I know where it is. I can paint over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was really funny. I'm still thinking about the Groundhog Day post with the lamb. Oh, yes. And, um... Oh, you had a thought. I, well, I was looking at, I don't know where I saw, but, um... Okay, let me just look up Groundhog's, Groundhog's Day. I, I think that's, I just saw an article, um, online about it, but... I'm pretty sure the, like, the groundhog that they use... Like, I know there's a bunch of Groundhog's Day festivals, like... Sometimes even, like, smaller towns have their own Groundhog Day Festival where they have their own groundhog oh, kind of yeah. thing. But um, I'm pretty sure, like, the groundhog um, passed away, like, a day before. Oh, yeah, we were, I was trying, po po Poxitani, how do you guys say it? Poxitani Phil? Pox yeah, I, let me, I, I have to find, let's see here. Poxitani? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's referred to as a celebrity groundhog. Let's see here. I grabbed a smaller brush just so I have a little more control. Milltown Mel, a groundhog who has... Oh, that's not the one. Oh, uh, well, I, I think that's his name. Oh, okay. He's, um, the one that, he's the one that croaked? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was too irreverent. <laughs> um, he's somebody's loved one, and I yes. just said croaked. And he know. was going to tell us what the weather was going to be like. Um, a groundhog who has, for years, offered his wealth of prediction, or weather predictions, on Groundhog's Day has died. Oh, that is sad. Yeah. They're kind of cute. We had one under our deck for a while. We did. But they're big. They're kind of, are they in the rat family? I think they're kind of in the rat family, mouse family. Not mouse so much, maybe. Because rats, because like um, a capybara, isn't that like mm -hmm. a really big rat? Oh, maybe he isn't. He's his neighbor in New York. Oh. <gasps> The one I was trying to say. No, wait, no. Mel's neighbor in New York. So, wait, I don't oh. know where Mel is from. Milltown, I guess. You were right. He's from Milltown, wherever Milltown is. So, the Punxsutawney, punks <laughs> Phil, we can't he's say. still alive. We're, so, the most famous guy, he's I, still around. Well, I saw one of, well, there's been more than one Phil, I'm sure, over the decades. Oh, probably. You would, you would think. I don't know how they long they live. There's another Google. What's, oh, yeah, I was going to be the hat, groundhogs. How long do groundhogs live? I'm just live? putting a little light so I remember it's there. A lot of times I'm, so I, you know, the traceable is a fast road map rather than drawing it on for me. And then now I'm just road mapping some more. It's almost like lots of rest stops or something along the way. It's not a very good analogy. But. Oh, they've had many a new fills. Yeah, I think so. In captivity, they can live 10 years or more, but typically like um, four to five or I, six somewhere in there. I think they're rodents of some sort. So we've had many a fills. The pens, pen, pen, the, <laughs> the pensatani. That's not right. I would say like pot. <laughs> Panks, I can that word. <laughs> Phil. 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 Well, yeah, that Phil is his name. Phil. I think. Yeah. I think he is Phil, but the place oh. is the the pensatani. The pena. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, people are going to think we partake in alcohol. <laughs> and really, I'd rather eat my calories than drink them any day. Okay, but I'm you guessing. cannot not fault that? me for not being able to pronounce something that spells P-U-N-X-S-U-T-A-W-N-E-Y. <laughs> so it's Antony, Tawny. We could work it backwards. Oh, Tinker popped in. She says, can't stay. Recovering in the hospital. Had to say hello and support you, though. Keep up the great work. Well, jeez. What are you doing here? Yeah, you need to you need to take care of yourself, Tinker. But thank you. I'm assuming you're okay if you're popping in. And get well fast. Oh, my gosh, Tinker. That's above and beyond. Maybe she just needed a little laugh because we can't say whatever that darn said, rodent's name is. Yeah. Look up and see if it's a rodent. I know you're trying to crochet. <laughs> it's a groundhog. Well, I, I, bet I went back to Groundhog's Day to find the Pensatonny spelling. I keep having to hide my crochet because I think it smells like my cat's, and she keeps shoving her ma uh, oh. mango. That's my cat. Freckle keeps shoving her face in it. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Wait, what am I? Oh, our groundhog. Is it a rodent? Groundhog. Yeah. Are they rodents? This probably is. I don't know. If that's <laughs> Oh, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. Tay says rip Milltown Mel <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> I shouldn't be your They rodent. are a rodent. <gasps> They're a rodent. They're a rodent. A rodent is predicting our weather. Yep. Yeah. He's cute. They are kind of cute. Well, I pretty much could go for almost any animal. Was that a groundhog that was sitting on the back step that one time? Yeah, we weren't yeah, sure. Yeah, he was chubby. He was chubby and big. He was chubby. We get... All kinds of interesting things. Our deck is pretty close to the ground, like six inches above in the front, and it goes back to almost nothing towards the house. So critters feel safe under there. Yeah, he was a big we guy. We have a cute rabbit right now. He's, he or she is pretty chubby. Hi. So this is slow, as you can see from you. I kind of um, just try to find things. I work in an area, and I try to kind of find... First round is slow, and then I think, oh, I've got to, you know, do a whole another round two on this painting, and that usually goes pretty quick for me because I find just kind of finding sections of hair, fur. I swap that word, and cows have hair. Cows have hair. I bet you buffalo, American bison have fur. Um, Tammy says, um, oh, Freckle's gonna cover my mic. <laughs> um, if I can peel my. Mike out from under freckle. Okay. Um, uh, Tammy says predicts better weather than some weather or than or predicts better than some weather guys I've seen. <laughs> I, yeah, that's hard. That's a tough business. And Bonita says I hate groundhogs. If you had a barn they oh. that they tried to invade, you'd hate them also. Oh, I bet. Oh yeah. Like I mean, we didn't particularly. We wanted him to move on. Yeah. Well. And many of things have lived under there, so I can't imagine if you have a larger space for many of things to live. Like, we've had cats that's had kittens under there. That's right. Um, I forgot about them. They were vicious. They were very scary, and one was white and had, like, cross eyes. He, oh, his eyes were crossed. Cute, but they were... He was kind of frightening. He would hiss through the window, yeah. so he was not a fan of us. No, they and were feral. And then we've had possums. <laughs> Um, but definitely bunnies. Yeah, I've there's a bunny bunnies. there now. Um, I don't mind the bunnies. Yeah, they eat the flowers, but... Okay, says, Mel wasn't your average everyday groundhog, though. Sad face. <laughs> 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 yeah, he predicted the weather. He's very special. Chase, you're making it hard to paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although this is... I wouldn't be going too terribly fast. I'd go a little faster if I wasn't chatting. Oh, that's funny. Crazy. Okay, so I've got, like, a light... And a dark and a light. And I'm thinking, I thought I had another light. So I'm wondering if I messed up because this is my dark. We might change the hair structure a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like his stick-ups. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look so good right now. But. <sighs> and then for the, around the eye, I've just got blobs. And then I let the background be the darker area for now. Maybe I should do some of those. Oh, Emily's holding freckles, and freckles is giving her a huge hug. Um, just if you're wondering why we got a little. <laughs> yeah, uh, Krista from Mis Michigan is just joining, and she is asking if that is a bison. Is it technically a? It's, it's a, a bison. bison. It's a bison. Okay, mm -hmm. I was American say buffalo. buffalo. Well, because if well, you are say, there many 
I, are bison and buffalo two different things? And I think there yeah. aren't as many buffalo left anymore. Did I see that somewhere? No, buffaloes have those like the big horn, like that kind of even comes over the head, and then oh. and then they they're like water buffalo. Yes. Um, oh gosh, I just flashed a royal order of water buffalo and the Flintstones, which is more my generation. I know the Flintstones. So. Oh okay. Um, so that's why it's confusing because this is actually a bison. Yeah, it's a okay. Yes, it's a bison. And I don't know if they're related. They probably kind of are. They're kind of cow-like. And she loves your painting. Oh, as thank, also. thank you for stopping by while we talk. I try to talk and paint. I'm getting better at it, but that's one reason why I wanted to in the uh, Facebook group. I'm like, who do you watch? <laughs> watch how they handle it. Yeah, how do they mm-hmm. How do they handle? I think it's just, you know, I was going to say, it's. I want to say right and left brain. I, I know that was a thing when I was younger, you know, like painting on the right side of your brain or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Julian Cameron, Julie? There's a book. Um, So I don't know if it's actually a thing or just something that's been talked about. But it was hurting my head more than it does now. I wasn't used to... It's a muscle you just got to, you know, work out. Right. Right. I'm kind of... I was going to paint blobs, and then I went back to, to the dark values first. This is probably, like, a very advanced version of, like... How people do wasn't it? It was a big thing to do like Sudoku to keep your brain up and whatever. I mean, Angry for a Birds while. doesn't help my brain. <laughs> but this, this, this is this, this is good for me. Flexes your brain muscle. Yeah. Trying to talk and chew bubble gum at the same time. It does. I could really use any value in here. What I am thinking is, so I have. Can you see the nose? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have browns here, but purple in the nostril, which may be really hard to see on video. I don't know. And then I went purple here because they're definitely going to have purples here, gray purples here. I might throw in some blue. Mm-hmm. And then there's a, a rusty spot back here in my reference photo, but that's too far. It's too much of a bullseye too far away from my star or my shows here or my eyes and my nose. So I'm going to make it just darker, not talk about it too much. But I could really use for the shadows any, any of these three colors. Oops, I stuck it in the brown. You're really not going to know. And I liked that I scraped off an old palette and just used it on here. I thought, why well, I should be doing more of that. That was a good idea. Okay, that wasn't very helpful. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say you get faster as you practice. I, I assume this will be really good for me because as I try to paint, talk, mm-hmm. and get faster, it will help my speed progress more mm-hmm. quickly. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go back again. I went dark because... Did you have something to say? Huh? Yes. I do. Can you feel that? I keep, like, opening my mouth and then closing Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> opening. No, no, no. I want you to finish your thought before you... Go ahead. Okay. Um, but uh, Krista says, uh, I've tried painting cows and, uh, I'm not going to, and I'm not going to give up. I've had trouble with the brush strokes on their hair. But like I said, I'll never give up. I feel like, yeah, that's the... Because it, it's just it's like... It's hard right now. Maybe this is good that this is hard right now. See how slow mm-hmm. I'm going and how bad it looks? Mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Honey. No, I, I... Basically what you were going to say, I think it's the... It's just so time consuming and then it's like... I, I always get caught up in the like, oh my God, look at all that. Look at all... Like, look what I have to do. But yeah, I, I think watching yeah. your... Like, this stage of the painting is nice because... And painful. And painful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it might be helpful. Like there isn't, I, we I, we talk about it too much, and and Tinker and I are are in the slow painters club. If she doesn't mind me throwing it in there, she probably laughs so she doesn't know. <laughs> um, there's no race to the end. Um, and once you get up and running, if you want to sell your paintings, then you just start charging more. You know? Yeah. Well, and I think because um, so one of your old pieces licensed, and sure you were palette knife back then, but they licensed recently, and I I look at it and I'm like, wow, you do so much more detail now. So I think that's just, um, I don't know, just uh, it's just like a muscle that you flex. So as you paint more, you know, you add, okay, maybe I'm going to push over here and try to get this this way. And then it, you just slowly grow and grow and grow. Oh, gosh, yeah. I started with the palette knife, so it forced me to be looser. Mm-hmm. And then I got tighter and tighter and tighter. And I've talked about the red truck I painted with the palette knife or the pet portraits. Mm-hmm. I painted with a palette knife. Oh, there's one right there, the cat that was in the Artist Network magazine. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like, oh, I might as well use a brush. It's going to be faster. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I kept getting more and more real. But um, I think a lot of artists go real and then try to loosen up and speed up. 
You don't um, have to do it that way. Tammy says there is a game app called Broken Brush. It's a lot it's Ooh. a lot of the old paintings altered and you find the differences. Some are quite difficult. Great for working your brain. Oh. That would be fun. We'll have to look for that. Broken brush. Would you write that mm -hmm. down for me? I will, I will, I will. I suppose it's in the chat. I could go back and find it. But the chat, unless you leave it open, sometimes the chat will disappear for a couple hours. So yeah, I'll... wait till next day mm -hmm. for the chat to be posted. Well, and what's nice about fur is you just kind of like cows have a swirl here. That can help you. Um, you know, they kind of have this kind of nose. Those things help you. Little short hairs over the nose. But really, once you kind of get a few things, I could take, I'm going to do this one of these days. You could take a much bigger brush and I could just paint in gestures instead of all these little details. And then I would make more money and have a painting done. <laughs> you know? Um, you totally can do that. I need to do that. Oh, I still, there's a woman I talked about before who painted with a two inch brush all the time. I'm looking for it. And she would use the corner and like dot the eye, you know? And I'm like, I need to do it and try it and just mm -hmm. challenge myself and we'll do it live. We'll do it live. You know? <laughs> well, because I'm, you know, what, what I like is like sitting here, it's like putting a puzzle together. Mm hmm. I'm just, you know, listening to the radio and I'm hunting for pieces and I like it. I probably would like complicated puzzles, but then I couldn't be painting, you know. Yeah. Yeah, if you weren't a painter, you'd be doing like the, the thousand plus piece puzzles. <laughs> well, and the traceable helps. You don't have to get every hair. I'm still thinking about the co the cow comment mm -hmm. and then also trying to paint. Um, you don't have to paint every hair. Start with the bigger shapes and go smaller. That, that works for any painting if you haven't heard that one before. Yeah, I think it's, um, because even in, even if you do try to get every hair, you still kind of, everyone has their style, I guess. So yeah. maybe your style lies more in like the more suggestion of the hairs and things like that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has their own handwriting. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm like, when Emma's like, you should do YouTube. I'm like, this to me is boring. <laughs> I like having the company, but I worry as a hostess. Oh, I, I just hit my, I hit, I felt my phone on my head. I bumped it a little bit, but um, not much at all. As a hostess, I'm like, this is not. So this is just kind of a triangle shape. You know, I, this isn't very entertaining. Oops, and I made it way bigger than it is in the reference photo, but that's okay. And then there's like a, let's see. Oh, I think it's actually here. I've got a little yellow mark. Sometimes these little marks help me. So actually, it comes up here. Sometimes I get a little off where the shapes are. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I don't do people portraits. Uh, I do pet portraits, which used to scare the crap out of me. I hesitate because I'm like, oh, crap came out of my mouth. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's okay. Crap's okay. Because um, <laughs> they know. They don't know that they know that there's a little dot on their horn and there's a little crack and then there's a little... You know, and you mm -hmm. have to get enough of those landmarks to sell it, basically. Mm -hmm. Which, that sounds slimy, but just for it to be their pet. Well, otherwise it'll just look like a generic, you know, lab, you know, and it right. won't. Because, like, I, I tell Chase, I'm like, if we ever, because Mango kind of has a funny little, like, nose bridge a little bit. And I look at pictures from when we, they were, like, probably very malnourished and street cat scrawny <laughs> when we got them to now. And, like, in her... And she's, I mean, and that's, she looks technically like a different cat if to the normal person because she was like, they literally, they listed her as like a short hair black kitty. And she, oh, she's not, she's the longest haired cat I've ever seen or had. Yeah. She could get longer, but she's, she's yeah. quite, quite long. Like her tail hair is literally like, we call it a fountain because it just like fans out and it's like four inches long of just tail hair. Yeah. And, um. But anyway, so like I tell, like I'm, I always tell Chase, like if if we ever lost Mango, I could definitely pick her up off the street because like I just look at her face and I know it's her. Yeah, you do. Because like you see all the little things, so yeah, you do have to. She's your baby, you know her. Yeah, so you do have to like You're... get the oh. the landmarks. What? Oh, oh, the movie with them. Oh, what? Oh, well, God. it's kind of got a, a weird t meeting the Fockers. Oh, and he spray paints the cat's tail. Oh yes, he does. Um, Jinxie <laughs> is Jinxie. The... Yes. Um, who's the actor? Uh, ben Stiller. Yes. Is and that, then, and then uh, Robert De Niro. Yes. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. I was hesitating because I'm like, oh, 
It's kind of, <laughs> kind of a bed. <laughs> so it's really winter time and dry here in the studio. And even though I put out fresh paint because I forgot to save it, I'm going to cut a little drop of water in there. And I've mentioned that before, so um, it sort of works. It has its downsides. I sprayed it too, but... Um, Mary from Ozarks Ladies Creative Mood, she says, Hi Annie, sorry I'm late. My son oh. just got out of the hospital with a broken leg and COVID. Oh no! We are having problems. Like, people are injured in, <laughs> in oh, our no. group today. Um, no, I think I've seen her son on camera. That's just... Oh, I'm so sorry, Mary. It had... Uh, I had it here at home, so I missed a few. This looks interesting. Oh yeah, we're slow painting. We are slow painting. And Chase says that... Um, Mango is a full-grown queen. I don't know why he put a sad face, but she has, a, like, fur everywhere. Oh, probably because he misses the little kitten stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. His she, baby girl's grown up. Yeah. She was... Oh, they were so little. I look at... Especially Mang. I look at photos of Mang, and she just looks... Like, there's this one photo, because they... She probably had an upper respiratory infection when we got her, oh, which well, is common in... Humane especially society. humane society. Yeah, because they just give it to each other. <laughs> um, and... Um, she literally was like the skinniest little scrawny thing. Like they said they were 11 months, but I don't know. They don't look anything like how they used to look. So I feel like they were still pretty small been, yeah. and kitten-like. But they were definitely street girls because they... um Scroungers. Yes. They get into the trash and everything. Oh, Chase is still sad about Mel. So he's going to keep putting sad faces <laughs> in the chat. He wants someone to acknowledge yeah, his, he's, his his grieving. His grieving of a, a groundhog he never knew. That I made fun of. I made fun. Okay, so then there's kind of like a... Oh, so brushstroke direction really helps you. Um, you can go, like when I did this horn, actually the verticals aren't a problem. And then you can come back with some round ones to make it to the shape of it. So I'm also, when I paint in these uh, darker values, I'm thinking brushstroke direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your cats are, I, they're great. I was going to say they're funny, but they're They're great. funny. They're different. I mean, they always, animals have their own personality. They're silly. Okay, there's a, so there's a swirl here, which is going to help me. And then there's kind of a, oh, it's almost like, we could call it a, a bent rectangle. It kind of follows that swirl. And then it, we're going to have it sweep. And what gets a little hard is uh, my reference photo is smaller than my 16 by 20 painting. But then I've got like this little shape on my traceable. So I'm like, okay, that's just another piece. That's kind of a triangle. So that helps me to know what to do. Or grid it off. Um, I drew your uncle Scott when he was like 12. Oh yeah, I love that. In pencil. Mm -hmm. That's a From a grid. Yes. I mean, a grid totally works. Mm -hmm. You know, And you just say, okay, in this grid, you know, one, two, three, four, five down, and one, two, three, we'll say four over is the eye. Mm -hmm. And then the eye crosses the line there, and then it hits the top of another part. You know, you just you piece it out. That's the only way I could. I, I gridded everything in high school and some into college, but that was the only way I could ever get. If I wanted it to be very, as well, as realistic as I could possibly do, um, that's how I'd do it. It's graded out. Oh, that's how all, all artists do it. So even a landscape painter, a lot of times, oh, oh, oh or they'll say, my horizon's here, mm -hmm. tree True. here. You know, I do that when I do the landscapes or the flowers. I kind of, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, or path coming in there. But yeah, I mean, if you're portrait painter, you say, okay, I'm going to, the head, a, a human head shape is kind of like this, and the eyes are in the middle, and they, they literally, and then if the, they're looking to the right, then you'd have a line. It's so like this buffalo's line comes right here. You can even see it. It's, for whatever reason, this one's got a line in its nose. I hope that wasn't too ASMR there. <laughs> Hear the scratch. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a frightening but, noise. But there's a line that you can see. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there is one. And then, oh, just flipped paint. Oh, no, it was a piece of, it was a piece of the paint off the handle. And then if there was an eye, I mean, you can kind of tell there's longer hairs here. I don't hear any paint one in. Am I getting too uh, anatomy 101 here? Um, let me know. No. Um, but anyway, I was going to say there's an eye here, and you know it because there's some um, hairs coming out. So then the eye is going to kind of bend in a circle and go like this. So it, that's why it helps to like maybe just paint um, human faces if you're into portraits or cat mm -hmm. faces. 
And you get to know that the eyes are kind of here and then the nose kind of goes here mm -hmm. on most cats. Now, some cats are more liony and they have more of a muzzle on them. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. okay, sorry. Well, speaking so, of cats. Big soapbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Krista has three black cats and um, one day she's going to paint them. Each cat has different features and shape of a face. I think, yeah, like even if a cat generally looks like a cat, you can, like I think Maya has more true cat, my two cats. My Maya's a tabby, and she, I think she has more like when you think a generic cat is what her features are, and then Mango has like really roundy eyes and right like a funny not funny nose but like a different nose bridge than most cats. Mm -hmm. Well, she has um, some Maine Coon in her, so she has more of a, a muzzle. Oh yeah, she does. Uh -huh. She does. I don't know cat breeds that well, but I know them better than dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, well, then the smush face. Yeah. What are are those Persian cats? We talked about that last time. Anyway. Um, and uh, she needs to print them, uh, print off their pictures and transfer them and just do it. Yeah. They're so loyal. Cats are loyal. The cats kind of get a bad rap for being, um, oh, no. Mine's little poops, a, but they, she, she would, she would, uh, this isn't nice, but she would bite my husband if he were bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's your, my, uh, she's Frickle mine. is your girl. She's mine. Yeah. Um, but on Bonita says, Annie, you mentioned brushstroke direction. Certainly true in your barn painting with the round, um, bales of or the round hay bales in front oh yeah that really helps finally it, conquered it this week oh yay yeah oh. that does help with those the hay bales mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think that's kind of a palette knifey painting i think i did that one and then um i kind of bounce back to it i like i like palette knife yeah i like that and well and that is a perfect one for because i mean you could paint one direction for the barn wood you know mm -hmm. you can the ro round bales of hay or yeah. round hay of hay bales bales of hay yeah they're round now not square right um, and then Matt is in the chat acknowledging hey, Matt. what Chase, <laughs> giving Chase some acknowledgement since Chase <laughs> was feeling lonely. Oh yeah, and we need says, Matt to help Chase. Yeah, he says Rip to Mel 2022, <laughs> the groundhog. Um, Sorry, I'm talking too much. I'm not letting you guys talk through Emily. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and Paul um, Branson Art is here. He hey, says hi, Paul. gal. Hi, gals. Paul from the UK here. So, Paul, toss your YouTube channel in there. I mean, I'm not... Oh, I can. I don't know if he can. Oh, okay. But I will. I'll link to okay. it. Okay. He did um, a Bob Ross... Oh, he, he'll know the name of the painting. It, nice limited color palette. Oh, I need to be... um, great demo of how to do the water up close. And I thought it was better than um, Bob Ross on TV. Way better. Because you can get closer. And he does... I'm sorry. Not just because you get closer. Because it's awesome too, Paul. It's beautiful. I, I enjoy part one and part two. And I'm not too worried about, I mean, everybody, so there, sometimes like artists, you're in a gallery with a bunch of them, and they're like, oh, you know, they're gonna, I'm not gonna sell well because they're here or whatever. I mean, they're, people buy what they like and there's a buyer for every artist and there are viewers for every channel. You know, I don't think there's like a ton of competi comp competition. Mm -hmm. Sorry, as I was looking at that, I was looking at Emily's computer and like, wow, that horn looks massive on my computer. Oh, I know. I have it big so you can maybe read the chat. <laughs> it looks a little better if I uh, square it up a little bit. But yeah, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Like, So advertise, Paul. <laughs> I did. I just put it in the chat. But um... I'm yelling at him. I'm momming him. Hey, Paul. <laughs> uh, Tammy <laughs> says, gotta go. Hubby needs help. We'll finish watching later. So bye, Tammy. Thanks for coming. It was fun to chat with you. Art hugs. Bye. Oh, bye, Bestie. Bestie. Yeah, because she's in the she's in the group. Oh, this is going to get hard. <laughs> I don't know if it's well, good think, to have group. I'm not. Well, I'm thinking just like in the group, we'll refer to them as the okay. best. Yeah. I I'm, just thought that was funny. That but funny. Um, Paul says that it's dinner time there and um, the veggies are almost cooked. Oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. in the UK somewhere, I think. It's past lunchtime here, so. Okay, I'm trying <laughs> to figure out the next shadow. There's a lighter area. Oh, gosh. And it kind of meets up with this. I've got all this chalk here, but it's not helping me. I don't know why I did that. Was it on your um, traceable? Or did you do a traceable for this or no? Uh, not on my on my website. That's I what I was thinking. We, yeah, we talked about that earlier. I'm trying to quick. So like I don't I haven't done every cow. Like when I painted Treble 2.0, I'm like, I got to get this done fast. When I get to the gallery, I'm going down there. And then I, this is so similar to the other one. Is it, um, now I'm looking at Paul's channel, is it the most recent? One that was posted it's reddish it's got water oh there's one 40 minutes ago so i don't think it's that one that it's, you're talking about no it's it's the second and third videos oh I think twilight I beauty is twilight, that it yep 
Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I saw the little thumbnail of it. Well, and Bob Ross did an excellent job of, you know, use this big brush and you can you can do lots of things. Mm-hmm. And then making it easy for people to paint trees. I'm not a fan brush person for trees because I get way too... I want to line them up. <laughs> and, you know, I'm much better. I'm looser and much better if I don't. But it takes longer, too, because a fan brush, you can really get in a lot of pine tree things going, you know. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm, I line my soldiers up. <laughs> so I, I stay away from it. It's not like it isn't a good way to do it. It just, um, it's better for me if I don't. Okay, maybe I'll just paint that in because I'm just not getting, so there's like a little triangle shape here. Let's just grab some white maybe. Oh, I'm kind of grabbing this puddle. So then I kind of mix out and it dries. And I just mix over it again. I think I've said that plenty of times. Um, uh, Animal Art by Terracotta says, time to make Z's four, or 4 15 a.m. Oh, I could not stay up that late. I know. I was like, whew. Yeah, go to bed. Good night. <laughs> yeah, good night. Get out good of here. Good night. Go to sleep. Get out of here. <laughs> go away. <laughs> that's so harsh. You know what? I'm getting too squirrely. You're getting squirrely? Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's 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 be- that's pe- past bedtime. That's past bedtime. Oh, I think she does that quite a bit. <laughs> I can't do that. I think she's teaching, I don't know what, in Korea. And then she oh, does. Wow. She has a, oh, she has a YouTube channel. We need to pop her in there. Oh, yeah. She's we'll probably gone mine. now. <laughs> Um, animal art yeah. terracotta, I think it is. <laughs> Come to my live, get free advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are like, that's dumb, but I don't. I mean, you guys know about them anyway. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, I hung out in Ginger's group for quite a while in the beginning, maybe three years ago. But I didn't post much. I didn't have a channel then, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to steal any of her thunder. I didn't have a channel then. I didn't think I was going to ever have a channel. When I met Eric, I didn't think I was going to have a channel. Oh, Krista um, says, I'll have to catch the rest on replay. I keep um, I keep your paintings on my playlist. I need to go shovel. We are up to 18 inches. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. That's too much for your back. Yeah, that's a lot of snow. I like do it in four-inch increments. Mm-hmm. Oh, good and luck. sometimes it's, it's too warm. it's too high for the snowblower. Yeah, stay warm. Good stay luck. Stay warm. <laughs> I believe if I am right, I believe Krista said that she's in Michigan a while back. I'll double Wait, check. Yeah, Michigan. Michigan. That's so we kind of um, Bonita said that they they have rain right now, but are expecting freezing rain. It's going around all around yeah, us. Yeah, it's it's skipping Nebraska because um, we just get we just got the cold weather. It's really chilly out, but. Um, uh, Suzanne said that they are getting like 15 to 30 centimeters of snow. So I think 30 is the foot mark, wow. if I'm if I remember my centimeters. Oops, that's not light enough for me to see. Um, and then where else? There was one more storm somewhere. Then Michigan. I would. Su- I'm surprised if something's happened in Michigan. We didn't get any. I guess Michigan's close to Canada though. So. Well, we're kind of smack in the middle. Yeah, literally. 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 The heartland. Well, I mean, literally, Omaha, I think, is the center of the United States. I know. I think that's why I think that's why they call us the heartland, <laughs> right? Oh, well, yeah. But that's a bigger oh, area. Oh, is that much, a bigger area? Much bigger area. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it depends on who you talk to. Oh, I just hit the phone with my hair. So I've got my head tilted back. I didn't put my party glasses on today because... Um, then I have to tilt my head way too far back to be. Don't paint up here above your shoulder like I am. <laughs> so if I weren't painting for a video about the eyeball down, it's comfortable. You know, and then you do paint. Um, if you paint with a bigger brush, you're going to paint. In a bigger painting, you paint with your shoulder more too. Mm-hmm. But this is just for the live. We are not the middle. We're not? Mm-mm. Oh, I lied on live TV or whatever this is. Live TV, yeah. Um, it's below us. It's, ooh, let's see how many hours away. I thought we were smack dab. We're close. We're not far. We're not far. It's it's kind of like the top of Kansas, very tippy top of Kansas. Oh, yeah. No, we're um, huh. Three hour, three hour, 20 minute drive. <gasps> I don't know what it's near. Nothing that I know is that it's near, but. Wichita State. 
<laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, maybe. No, I think wrong direction. Yeah. I thought I'd go in there for a little bit. I think. I have to think about it. Which one has the art school? Maybe like, like barely into Kansas is the geographic center of the United States. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good to know. I won't say that. <laughs> so here, my values are off. I really need to probably lighten the horn. I don't know. Or darken. It doesn't really matter. After a while, um, you just what's going to sell it? Mm -hmm. And normally I've got my light decided. This is really rare for me not to. Well, and it's on the other side. You keep saying that. I know. It's because of the way the photo's laid out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you just always have your son from the... Oh, a lot of times I have my son up over here mm -hmm. because I license my art. Yes. But I could flip him in Photoshop. It just saves a step. or It just help, happens to work. But I'm not going to really put him on... Uh, I don't think Buffalo's license. Unless I can come up with some clever greeting card. Bison, like a maybe bison can, me some dinner type. Yeah, of bison, pun. bison me, or bison, bye bye bison. That's not uh, yeah, very happy. Uh, your son graduating college, bison. <laughs> <laughs> you know that actually could work. Yeah, could make it goof. You know, maybe I can license it. A dad. <laughs> it's just a dad buffalo or bison saying goodbye to bad, his son. Bad dad joke. Bad bison. We might, it's, it feels like it's been about an hour and a half and my arm's starting to get tired. Yeah, we are at, um... Emily's trying to quit crochet. One twenty-one. Oh, yeah. Should we keep going just for a little longer? Yeah. I need to part, paint lower. I need to get far, farther on my sweater body. Okay, I'll stop having you. I like it when you Google things. No, I'm fine Googling things. It's fine. Okay, I do I not. I gotta, I'm gonna kind of try to find where... Oh, that's lighter than I want, but I think I'll just do it anyway. Where the... Buffalo roams <laughs> <laughs> and the field and oh, it was an antelope play. I don't know how that goes. Um, so it ha kind of has just hair, sort of a hair horizon line. I don't know if I've got it. Maybe it comes up here some. I'm kind of losing my. Okay, let's let's line it up by looking at the horns. We can find it. It's kind of like we can do this. Yes, we can. Okay, so it comes, oh, I just hit the canvas when I was looking at my reference photo. So that is actually a hair. That helps. And then does it kind of come there? And it kind of comes up. Well, it's got like a little bed head going on. I don't know what this is. I've got a line here. I wonder if that's my bed head and I'm just not getting the proportions. Because that looks kind of flat. <laughs> Like that head. <laughs> but I think it comes up. Now, I've saved my background palette. I can, if I make a mistake, I can just come back in and shorten it. Um, they call it negative space painting. You could come back and, and like, or I could even paint over these hairs if I end up not liking them and just paint some more background in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming you guys know that, but I just say things just in case. You never know who's going to watch. Mm hmm that's the upset of YouTube, too. I think that might actually be his hair. I'm going to do this. Okay, and then I'll what I'll do is after the video, after the live, you tell it, don't, don't know what to call things. <laughs> the live, the video. I will get, I'll go back to the entrance of my studio and look at it and go, okay, does that make sense? And now look at my reference photo on my little iPad a distance, at a distance. Like, okay, you know, it does slope up, or no, it needs to come down here, and then I'll get rid of that little peak right there. But And then as I get towards the end of a painting, I will like make a mark like this, or and then maybe a couple marks that I thought of, and I'll walk back and look at it. I'll go, oh, darker, and then I'll grab a darker value and put that in, you know, wherever, whatever things came to mind. Let's not lose my horn here. And then I'll walk back. So the end of the painting, I get really excited, but then I do a lot of hopping around because I think, oh, I'm almost done. And then I see something. No. Oh, I'm almost done. <laughs> There's a lot of up and down at the end. And then sometimes I get tired. And I'm like, okay, I'm just looking at this tomorrow. So hopefully that helps. Mm -hmm. Or some people will put a mirror so they can just turn around and look in the mirror behind them. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and you, um, 
I've noticed like you'll uh, take a, f or when you send me a photo of like a painting, mm -hmm. that helps and then me. if I call you, I'm like, that's so good. You're like, ah, oh, it looks a lot better in the photo, you know, because you, your brain um, separates it, I guess. Well, yeah, I am literally to the right of my, my cell phone. Mm -hmm. So there's not even, I don't think there's a foot between my cheek and the canvas. I'm, yeah. on, I'm on top of the sucker. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't see it so well. Yeah. When you're on top of it, like, and then when I look at the computer monitor that Emily has in front of her, it's a nice big monitor, but it's at an angle, so the distortion's kind of funny. I really don't like mm -hmm. how bright this dot is, but in front of me, it is much lower in value than it's than it is in, on the in video. In real life, it is, too. Yeah. 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 In real life, these values are much softer, and I like them. Mm -hmm. um, on the video, I'm like want to cry i'm getting scared you know so the I mean, panic just, sets in yeah a little panic like what was i thinking like that looks like i used white already when i haven't no yeah but those are just examples of it does help you um matt says that um i had no idea you could get a t-shirt of that wonderful frog painting so matt bought oh the frog that is my favorite painting that you've ever painted yeah warts and posted, all yeah that we posted recently he picked it up at ginger's um, hangout we're giving them a shout out yeah Yes, and um, yeah, you can uh, if you can either get you could get if you want seven more frogs, Matt. You could buy a print and just fill an entire room with the frogs. <laughs> so the, and then you have like a spotlight on the original in the center. Oh, let's see, an acrylic print, a canvas print, a metal. print. Oh yeah, get the all the kinds print, of print. <laughs> a cheap print on some kind of paper for like twenty bucks. Frame the T-shirt. T shirt, well, t shirt, notepads, some phone cases, some brands. Oh, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, journal, tote bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop. I really over. That's Every gonna, towel in your that's house, like a, you could swap it out with the beach towel that they had. I just did like <laughs> when the kids were little and told the joke a million times. A million times. times. And it's like, it's not funny anymore, honey. I just did it. Thank you, Matt. That's so fun. It's so nice when my paintings find new homes. They need new forever homes. I love that. I need to keep a list. I used to, but I'm like, ah, I need to hire another Emily. Another Emily. Um, let's see here. Uh, Bonita says, we are to get a catastrophic freeze rain tonight. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Expecting power outages for several days. Oh, no. no. In 2009, we lost one third of the farm's trees from the same mess. Right. Oh, oh no. no, you feel so helpless. That is awful. I can't. I haven't had the news on lately. Oh, go ahead, Anne. No, uh, I, I was, all it was going to be was I can't even imagine. That is, and because. Um, is Florida going to get it too? I mean, that's not exactly by Kentucky, but it's kind of down in the corner. I think, corner. I did see online that like TikTok or on TikTok or something that um, some people in Florida got like frost on their cars. Oh, that already happened? Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, the iguanas were falling out of the trees. Yeah, so. like, it, it's, it was, like, 29 or something, and that's in, that's insane for Florida. Yeah. Oh, I can't even imagine, like, because, um, we, we, what was that? Was that, like, the hurricane winds or whatever that we got, and then, um, or was it, like, a horrible lightning storm? Oh, and, no, when we had this, the horrible straight line winds. Well, but, um, I think... It was like it, a tornado, but they were straight But line. the, when powers above ground, like, down towards more older downtown omaha area, midtown, mm -hmm. like, um, they didn't have power for days because power's above ground. And it, since it's typically, it's older down there, so, yeah. um, it's not buried, so all the weather affects it. I can't even, ugh. Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, take care of yourself. Yeah, preserve your phone battery. Well, you you need to be charging your phone. and <laughs> You lose all the fruit from the trees. Yes. Yeah. So my, my burnt umber always likes to dry up faster and quicker. Uh-oh. Yeah, Freckle's sitting right next to you. I shouldn't have looked at her. I gave her eyes. Uh-oh. We're going to quit soon anyway. <laughs> um, this isn't probably that interesting. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just working the darker areas, and now I'm just kind of filling this in. Um. And I'm not really following my reference photo too much. I'm just thinking, thinking I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I want it darker. This is kind of like how I painted the lamb, where I just kind of blob on. I realized I was painting with a small brush because I was chatting, so I finally switched to the bigger brush. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting my, I put my foot down and I hit my uh, easel. I don't know if it shook it. And I'm not painting, as I mentioned here, I'll show you. Before we go... In case you want to do this one, because you can get the reference photo on Unsplash. Instead of painting that brown, 
because there's like a probably a it probably goes browner and rustier. I don't know if the photographer didn't do it, or it's actually in this buffalo. I'm not. I'm gonna paint that more in the tones and shades of that corner up there. I don't want to call too much attention to it. It's off the canvas. It, this this is already gonna throw you off the canvas. But I'm lucky. It's it's a portrait, and I've got some sweeping motions here. So in theory, that would help a little bit pull you around to the nose and up to the eye. Um, but since it's a portrait, you don't have to worry too much about that. I I do um, more in the cone fly, the newest coneflower painting. I had a you know, we're coming in like here with the darks and we came up with the darks and then I went like this with the darks. I was a little worried. So I had some brush strokes coming this way and this way to help kind of mm -hmm. keep you in the painting. Um, so Benita says the sleet is bad, but it lands on the ground, whereas the freezing rain sticks to everything and yes. builds up the weight and causes stuff to crash. Yes. We know about sleet and freezing rain. Yeah. the free Yeah. Oh, we, like get, it, we to... get everything here. We get snow. We get everything. Go ahead. Yes. We, well, we, I mean, we don't get um, hurricanes, <laughs> I guess. No. But... <laughs> well, tornadoes. But yeah, no. we do get tornadoes. But yeah, like the, um, I park my car parks outside. So just like after a freezing rain, the the sheer amount of ice that you just like have to crack through to get into your car. Like you my, your heated... car, my car is frozen shut. You have a heated steering wheel. I do have a heated steering wheel now. But I'm no thinking whi like... no whining from the peanut gallery. <laughs> well, this is the first. This is my first winter with this car, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but... I just like the tease. I know, I know. But the bug, when I had the bug... Oh, my old bug? One of my old bugs? It's It was very round. So, it just, like, it, it's begging for everything to freeze and glue together. <laughs> it's true, it did. So, it was awful to get the, the any freezing rain or anything off of. But I think we had one year where, like, um, a bunch of... The, which is probably how you lost all your trees was like a bunch of the all the freezing rain and then it just weighs on the trees and like branches were literally like bending to the ground right, the little trees bend <gasps> over yeah. remember that oh. in the other house mm -hmm. the little tree was just bent over it survived yeah my alarm's going off so it's been an hour and a half so i think oh, we're yes. gonna well, i'm worried about my phone battery but if anybody <laughs> wants to say anything in the chat we don't have to go right away yeah I'm just kind of messing this area anyway. It's not quite so interesting. The horn is more interesting. How I paint the shadow areas is a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but everyone, we have had too many people in the hospital in the chat, and yeah. everyone needs to stay safe and get better. And Yes, please. Yeah, stop doing that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have be to healthy, be, be very well. preventative. <laughs> everyone puts on bubble suits. Oh, my gosh. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I appreciate all the support. Mm -hmm. um, someone commented that they liked our banter, so that's good. We kind of wondered if we were a little... If we chat too much. Yeah. But if we do, I mean, we're. I am. all feedback is welcome. I mean, not just if you want to be mean or something, go troll someplace else. But gosh, if you, you say, like, I really don't like that, I want to hear it. Mm -hmm. um, it really helps us. Um, Emily, you're going to have to... I'm going to stop. Oh, I am. I am. <laughs> I'm like kind of stalling because she is, isn't realizing that she has I, to. The, 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 we have a different setup today, so Here, I'm. I'm gonna, we're done. My watch says we're done. <laughs> Here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are the you things ready moved for me in the chat. Goodbye? Yes, I am. Okay, Whenever guys. You thank you. I say this every time. Right? Well, how else can I thank you enough for your friendship, for your support, for your great ideas, for your great big art head? Because thanks for hanging out with us. I'm going to say that again. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.